Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nathaniel Morton and I am a vertical jump coach and I have helped millions, okay, maybe not millions, but thousands of individuals increase the vertical, jump higher and dunk a basketball. And I have reviewed Vert Shock, Vert Code, The Flight System by Overtime Athletes, Flight School by The Lost Breed, Nick Briz's Vertical Jump Training Program, and Isaiah Rivera's Vertical Jump Coaching with THP Strength. And I also offer my own coaching for $10 a month. You get access to all of my programs, all of my advanced vertical jump programs, my upper body programs, my indestructible knees programs, all for $10 a month, and you get 30 days free. You guys are basically robbing me. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Bounce Kit by Jordan Kilgannon, the green-haired leprechaun jumping machine. I will be buying his program, I will be reviewing his program, and I will be telling you whether or not the exercises and workouts in his Bounce Kit vertical jump training program are worth investing your money in. So let's get started. Bounce Kit by Jordan Kilgannon. Bounce Kit Vertical Jump Program with Jordan Kilgannon. Here the second one says, buy the Bounce Kit. So we'll click on that one. Increase your vertical jump with Jordan Kilgannon. Add inches to your vertical jump in 12 weeks. How many inches? Nine to 15 like Vert Shock? No, it just says add inches to your vertical. I already love that because so many vertical jump programs claim that they're gonna help you gain all these inches. Well, what if Zion Williamson, what if Isaiah Rivera with a 48 inch vertical jump is going to do your program? Are you gonna help him gain nine to 15 inches vert shock? I'll wait. Exclusive workouts, private online community, and access to Jordan for a helping hand throughout the program. Bye now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out all my information and then buy the programs. Tell me how much it is. Um, okay, $77 for this program. Let's see if I can do this in the first take. Vert Shock was $67. Nick Briz's program was $67. The Flight System by Overtime Athletes was $134. Vert Code was $85. Isaiah Rivera's Vertical Jump Coaching was $89 a month. And The Lost Breeds Flight School was $25. I think, so Jordan Kilgannon's program is $77, right in the middle of everything. Let's get it. Your Bounce Kit account has been created. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in. Let's go to my program. Phase one, week one, let's click on the workouts. Approximately 90 to 120 seconds of rest between each set. Monday is jumping and core. We start out with a dynamic warm up. then we actually measure our standing and our running vertical jump. So he wants you to measure your vertical jump so that you can say, hey, I got a 27 inch vertical jump. And then at the end of it, you measure your jump again. So you say, okay, now I have a 34 inch vertical jump. So I gained seven inches. Mathematician, standing jump, 15 sets of one rep every 40 seconds. So you do a standing jump, then you rest 40 seconds. Then you do another one. Then you rest 40 seconds. Then you do another one. And you do that 15 times. Maybe I'm reading into that wrong. He does have exercise demonstrations. They're not right here, with, which I wish it was right here. I wanna just click on it, cause I'm bougie like that. I don't wanna go back a page, but we'll go back a page. We'll look into it and see what it is. Tuesday, we have heavy legs. Thank goodness we have some weights in here. I'm telling you guys, you can get a crazy high vertical jump with body weight only, but to maximize your vertical jump, to jump as high as possible, you need to be using weights. This is how you jump higher. You press harder into the ground and you press faster into the ground. You do that by getting your legs stronger and faster. You get your legs as strong as possible by adding resistance. You add the most resistance with weights. And that's it, that's point blank period. We got a dynamic warm up, back squats, deadlifts. I don't wanna give away all his exercises. He has two other good exercises. He got some leg curls and some calf raises. So listen, he's hitting everything and we're doing three sets of five reps here explosive. We're doing low reps, high intensity. So already this is a perfect leg day. This 
first Tuesday, heavy legs is perfect. Wednesday is upper body and core, so he gives you upper body in here. It's always such a nice bonus when these guys give you upper body as well as lower body. We know it's a vertical jump program, but if you wanna go above and beyond, give the people some upper body, man. That's why I offer upper body athlete along with my beyond the rim vertical jump training programs. We got some shoulder press, bent over rows, some other shoulders. We got some more back. We got some traps. We got some bird dog again. So this is a good upper body day as well. So, so far I literally have zero complaints about Jordan Kilgannon's program. Thursday is a rest day. Day, and on your rest day, he wants you to stretch, foam roll, and walk. Get the blood flowing, foam roll, break up all the tissue, myofascial release, and then stretch. Okay, get the blood flowing to your muscles, stretch your muscles so that you can maximize your recovery and come back ready for the next session. Friday is jumping and core again. So we got a dynamic warm up, and then this time we have standing jumps 20 sets, not 15, 20 sets of one rep every 40 seconds. So you're doing 20 jumps every 40 seconds. What are you doing between? Text your girlfriend? Then we finish off with some core exercises. I'm gonna look into the standing jump. I'm gonna go back and watch the video because are we really just doing one jump every 40 seconds? 20 times? Let's see. Start with your feet about shoulder width apart and your hands out in front of you. As you lower the jump, swing your arms down and back up as fast as possible while you jump straight up as high as you can. Land into a proper squat position for safety. You should barely be able to hear your feet touch the ground. Keep your head up and keep that pocket in your back with a neutral spine. Make sure you jump straight up and land in the same position you started. Okay, so you are actually jumping in the air one time, one jump, and then resting 40 seconds. And then jump in the air again. And then text your girlfriend, I love you, baby. And then jump again. Let's get back to the program. Saturday, we have heavy legs. And just like I preach, you have weight training two times per week. Now, if you want to get technical, sure, you can do quads on Monday and then hamstrings on Tuesday and then calves and tibialis anterior on Wednesday and then glute medius on Thursday. Like you can split it up and do weight training or resistance training more than two times a week. But if you're going to train the body as one whole unit or an upper body day and then a lower body day, which I think you should, then it's gonna be two days per week for weights. And then on Sunday, we have a rest day. So week one, impressed. I mean, it's Jordan Kilgannon. He knows what he's doing. He could touch his green hair on the rim. He can get it over the rim. He might be able to jump up through the rim. Phase one, week two. This is Monday, which is jumping and core. So we got a dynamic warm up. Then we got standing jumps, but this time it's 10 sets of one rep every 30 seconds. And then we have a one step jump for 20 sets of one rep every 40 seconds. So that's 10 sets and then 20 sets, so that's 30 jumps. So he's actually having you calculate how many maximum jumps you do. For me, personally, I would like you to do a jump session, okay, instead of these. So for my jump sessions in my program, what I like to have you do is five reps touching the net with each approach. So your right, left, two foot approach, then your left, right, two foot approach, then your one foot off of your left, and then your one foot approach off of your right, touching the net, okay? So that's 20 jumps, five times four, that's 20. Then you're going to touch the backboard five times off of each approach. Then you touch the rim five times off of each approach. Then you dunk, and if you can't dunk, then you do tennis ball dunks. You can't do tennis ball dunks, you touch the rim again. You can't touch the rim, you touch the backboard for your last two sets. You can't touch the backboard, you touch the net again as high as you can for your last three sets. So we're essentially doing the same thing, except I'm having you practice your technique. Now I'm not saying I'm better than Jordan Kilgannon, but I do think that my program, when it comes to max jumps, is set up better than this because he just says do standing jumps and do one step jumps. I have you practice all of your approaches, which you need to do. And then at the very end, I have you practice your worst approaches again. Tuesday is very similar, except this time he is having you do sumo deadlifts. Listen, I'll tell you right now, if you're an athlete, if you're a basketball player, no reason to be doing sumo deadlifts. No reason. Do normal conventional deadlifts, or even better, do hex bar or trap bar deadlifts, or do high pulls. Hex bar or trap bar, high pulls are the best. Then deadlifts are next. Then conventional deadlifts with a straight bar. And then sumo deadlifts are not necessary. 
you can chalk them up with leg extensions. Leg extensions and sumo deadlifts you don't need to do. Wednesday is an upper body day, very similar to last week. Thursday, we have a rest day, stretch, foam roll, and walk. Friday is jumping in core, and this time, we have standing jumps, 10 sets of one rep every 30 seconds. And then we have our one step jumps, 26 sets. I ain't making this up, I'll bring it to the top. 26 sets of one rep every 45 seconds. This dude is probably like a mad scientist at the end. He probably analyzes all this stuff. 45 seconds is better than 40. Listen to his seconds and listen to his sets. Just follow what he's saying because I'm telling you, Jordan Kilgannon obviously knows what he's doing. Saturday is a heavy leg day and all the exercises are good. We hit calves, hamstrings, we hit quads little bit of glutes. Phase one, week three. I'm gonna try to hurry this up because lately my videos have been going to like 18 minutes and I wanna get them down to more towards the 14, 15 minute range. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster. I'm gonna look through the program. If I see something that jumps out at me, like one jump every 40 seconds, then I will point it out to you. And speaking of one jump every 40 seconds, in this week, we are doing a two-step jump 10 sets of one rep every 40 seconds. So we're doing standing jumps, one step jumps, and two step jumps, and we're finishing our core workout. The rest of the week is pretty much the same. Week four is pretty much the same. So now we are in phase two, week five, and Monday is a rest day. Tuesday, we have jumping in core, and we have standing jumps, then we have one step jumps, then we have two step jumps, then we have three step jumps. So you've been practicing your approaches this whole time, now you're getting farther and farther. Why not, in my opinion, why not just practice your full technique from the very jump, okay? From the very start, practice all four approaches and get better at your technique with every single approach. That's what I think is best. Wednesday, we have moderate to heavy legs, 60 to 70% of your one rep max. We have power cleans this week. We got some box squats, and then we got a bunch of other good exercises. So these are really good exercises to increase your vertical jump higher and dunk on anyone. Thursday is a rest day. Friday is jumping and core. Saturday, we have upper body, and Sunday is a rest day. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, this program is very good. This program is extremely good and will take your vertical jump through the roof. I don't know why I expected it not to be this good. I just thought maybe Jordan Kilgannon is a naturally gifted jumper. I haven't watched too much of his stuff, but this program, it's called Bounce Kit for a reason. This is going to be up there as one of the top programs. In phase three, Monday is a jumping and a core day, and we got a standing jump, a one-step jump, a two-step jump, a three-step jump, a four-step jump, and now we have a five-step jump jump. Tuesday is light to moderate legs. So notice how he had a start heavy. Then we went to moderate. Now we're at light to moderate. So he's lowering the intensity so that our body can recover more and we can see those gains of everything that we worked for up until this point. We can see those gains in our vertical jump when we test it. The rest of this week is pretty much the same. Week 11 is very similar. And the last week of the program, week 12, it's similar up until Friday and Saturday. You have rest days and then Sunday is called a fly day, and you are testing your standing and your running vertical jump. So that is the program, that is Bounce Kit from Jordan Kilgannon. So do I think that this program will increase your vertical? Well, you can already tell. Yes, of course, this will increase your vertical jump. It would even increase my vertical jump a lot. This is a very good program, but where does it stack up against Vert Shock, against Nick Briz's amazing vertical jump training program, against Vert Code against the Lost Breed Program and against Isaiah Rivera and Overtime Athletes. Where does this stack up and who has the best vertical jump training program so far? From the bottom and realize that these are just my opinions. You are entitled to your own opinion. These are just my opinions from the experience that I have and what I've learned up until this point in my life. From the bottom, it would go Nick Briz's program. Then it would go Vert Shock. Then it would go the Lost Breeds Flight School. Then it would go Vert Code Body Weight. I understand that there is a Vert Code Elite that uses weights. I have not reviewed that program yet. So when I do review that program, I expect that to be one of the top programs. But for now, I would put Vert Code Body Weight. Then 
in the top three spots. And I want you to realize that I like a lot of things from all of these programs. I like the triphasic training model from Overtime Athletes. I like that he takes you through an eccentric phase, then a isometric phase, and then a concentric phase. I like that Isaiah Rivera's coaching has so many sprints and so many sled pulls. Bounce Kit by Jordan Kilgannon doesn't have any of that. I really think that he's missing out. All three programs have very similar strength training. All three programs give you squats, deadlifts, and cleans. Overtime Athletes has plyos. He doesn't have any jump days. He doesn't have any technique. He doesn't have you actually going to the basketball court and practicing your technique and your jumps off of all approaches. Neither does Jordan Kilgannon. He, as well, has you do plyometrics, and he has you practice your technique, but not all approaches. Isaiah Rivera has you practice all approaches in a full jump session. Jordan Kilgannon also doesn't give you any bounding or any sprints. There was actually not that many plyometrics at all. There was jumping, which is the best plyometric. The best plyometric to jump higher is jumping. So you're practicing your one step jump, two, three, four, five step jump. So that is good, but he doesn't have any sprints. He doesn't have any bounds. Overtime athletes has bounding, but they don't have sprints. Isaiah Rivera has sprints, but they don't have bounding. So which is better, bounding or sprints? It's very hard to say. I think you need both in a training program. So listen, I'm saying they are tied. Isaiah Rivera and Overtime Athletes are tied for the best vertical jump training on the planet so far that I've reviewed. Still haven't reviewed Knees Over Toes Guy, still haven't reviewed Vert Code, still haven't reviewed my weight training program, which maybe I'll do for you one day. But that is my conclusion, and that is who I think has the best vertical jump training on the planet, and that is what I think of Bounce Kit. This was actually very, very, very good. I highly recommend getting Bounce Kit or Overtime Athletes, the flight system, or Isaiah Rivera's coaching, or if you only have body weight, the Vert Code body weight is the best route to go. I'll see you guys next time. Young visionary, and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life, or you afraid to die.